relieved. Oh my gosh. Okay, welcome back to another video. Here she is in all of her curl glory. When I say that I have awoken, okay, that is an understatement. I feel so alive. This is about four months going on five for postpartum. I will talk more about what has been going on when it comes to my mental health, when it comes to my body, all the questions um, that I've been getting, some tips that I've been learning. So uh, if you're interested, grab a snack. I just finished eating. I'm going through like a nasal thing. I don't know what it is, allergies I think, but I've been taking medicine, breastfeeding friendly medicine. So uh, let's jump right into the video. So I had some questions regarding what uh, breastfeeding tips I had. I'm currently breastfeeding my son. He just passed four months on the 11th and we have been breastfeeding since day one. I also substitute formula when I'm not home or when he's overly hungry or it's just not happening with the boob. We just give formula. So I use the Happy Organics. So I put a little picture right here. The Happy Organics baby formula. And I like it because he doesn't get like colicky with it. He doesn't have gas with it. And I prefer to not give him something that's not as nutrition, nutrition based like breast milk. So this was a close to breast milk formula. So that's why we like it. For breast pumps, I have the, I think it's the Supreme. I think that's, no, Spectra, Supreme. The Spectra from the hospital. And then I also have the Mandela. Uh, but overall though, I prefer, I had got the, this is the one I'm actually gonna show you, the Zumi or the Zomi or the Zomi. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyways, it is this one, Zomi. Um, I really like this one. First off, as you can tell, there is no cord. So this actually plugs in, charges, and it has three little dials here, so I'm gonna start it. It has three little dials that show you when it's full, when it's half, and when it's empty. And so it has three different dials in. Okay, so this one is like, gets it kind of stimulated, and then this one I like when I'm needing my milk to, when I'm needing that, that fall, that, um, when I'm feeling the letdown. So once, uh, I'm kind of learning how to use the breast pump still. I've heard that there's like a technique and all the things. We're four months in. I normally just feed off the boob and whatever I get out of the pump, I that's what I get. Normally, right now, I'm going at, if I don't feed him from me, I normally get about four ounces combined and that's on a good pump. So don't beat yourself over the head if you know, you're not getting all this milk like you see on these Instagram channels. So I really like that because it also comes with a suction that surrounds the the pump that's on your boob. That way like you're not having to constantly keep it on. It actually has its own suction, which I really like. So if you're in the looks for a breast pump that is, um, uh, user friendly and it doesn't have a lot of um, gadgets and all the things to it. I really like that one, that one. Another thing that I like that I really enjoyed in the beginning as well, I don't really use them as much anymore, which thankfully when you go through the breastfeeding journey, your nipples tend to develop and they become very different. Um, if this is your first time having a baby, look out, okay? This is my first kid. So my friend bought me though, she bought me these silver nipple shields. Now these are great for the beginning. They prevent cracking, they prevent dryness. It's just an all around good product to have. So if you are a new mommy and you're like, what's going on here? These are it. I really enjoy having um, this I, the way I would combine it, what I would have my my breast bra, my, my breast bra, my breastfeeding bra, and you would put this in like with your nipple shield, and then I have the leaking, those little organic leaking pads. These are really great. I don't like the disposable ones because I mean you just wash these, so I would just put those over like that, and it would sit in my my bra like that. So even if you're leaking, because you will leak, your body is you know gauging how much baby needs. Um, and you're like super engorged, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, it's, it's a lot. But this, on top of this, in your bra, great. This actually says that it prevents you from having to use like nipple cream. I'm 
I'll put a link on that below. That way, if you are looking to find that, I put this on my registry and my friend was so kind enough to get that for me. When it comes to butt paste, diaper paste, all the things, I honestly had uh, so many friends tell me about this and I did some research myself. The triple paste, this is going to be your best friend. Beginning, I was using a lot of this cause I, you know, he was getting a little, you know, red spots here and there, like little rashes and whatnot. And um, his diapers, we were trying to see which ones were working. Ow, see, oh my gosh. Oh, that's another thing. Okay, so if you are like expecting and you've never had, you had to feel your boobs, create milk in them let me tell you the feeling it's like they're burning it is very strange um it's a very strange feeling you it's like you can feel something coming like like gravitating forward and it feels itchy and it feels um like it's a burning sensation so if you're a new mom and you have no idea what's happening what will happen to you it, just look out for that, okay? Don't freak out. I freaked out. It was hurting from the beginning. Um, and then once I started understanding what that feeling was, I was like, okay, I'm okay now. <laughs> but yes, the triple paste, this is a really good um, butt paste for a baby. Right now, we're in the teething phase. Oh, no, let's, let's go back. When it comes to his little boogers, his little nose, uh, I had bought these, my friend recommended this, versus the... Um, that suction thing that I just think that's disgusting. I couldn't stomach that and she recommended these little guys So these guys if you could tell it has that little um, Hook at the bottom and also has like these little tweezers that I normally don't use because I normally get it out with with that But you scoop it you scoop it out of their their nose and I think these are way better than even those little suction things um, Those are also like not sanitary so, um, and then if it breaks or something happens to the top, they actually twist off. Let me show you. They're really in there. So they twist off like this, and then you can just replace it. So um, that's really good for, for taking out those little, those little hard to reach places, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he hates it, but you know, mommy loves him and he needs to breathe. So I find when he is latched and then he keeps pulling off, he can't breathe and then I check, I go like that and I'll pull his nose up and you see all the boogers and I'm like, oh, gotcha, scoop it out. Uh, we're in teething phase and so we got Mommy's Bliss organic little gums. So this is for him for nighttime and then they have a daytime, it comes together. So this has been really helping. I put it on um, his little banana uh, soother and it looks like a toothbrush, I'm sure you've seen it. And I just brush his gums with it because he's slobbering a lot now. And sometimes like I fed him, I've rocked him, I've changed him. He's not giving a tired cry. It's more of like a, I'm annoyed. And then we go here and then he's fine. I did want to say, um, nobody has taught me this a little snippet before. So before I get into like the mental health stuff, I want to leave you with this. So my son and I'm pretty sure every other baby in the world has the sharpest nails in the world and the hospital told me not to clip them but to file them well that doesn't work either and so i find that it is very easy to do this when he's asleep of course like when he feeds and he'll fall asleep on me or if i have an opportunity to rock him and he falls asleep on me and i do one foot and one hand at a time to use a cuticle cutter now i don't know if some of you are like that is extremely dangerous or that's super sharp unfamiliar I got it I have used nail clippers I have used filers and nothing gets those little baby nails like these okay I have like one of these in every house and in my car because I myself clip my cuticles I don't like and I like my nails looking neat they look rough right now don't look at them but you know but I find that it gets his little nails a lot better because I'm holding I'm holding it like this and then I'm clipping as I'm going. So I get like a two clipper on that. Um, however, I, I just, I feel like they do so much better because I can see what I'm clipping because I'm seeing it through here instead of just blindly clipping, you know, and then you clip too close. So this, for me, it prevents all of that. So you can find that at your local drugstore, grocery store, etc. Um, 
Those were my go-tos. I had a question about that. Like, what are your go-tos for, you know, having a baby in 2023? These are my go-tos. Um, like I said, if you have those essentials. Also, in the beginning phases of, like, the newborn phase, they hate cold wipes in the nighttime. So get yourself a heated wipe. Um, one of my friends got me a heated wipey warmer that really helped us out in the, in the nighttime. So um, it doesn't start, startle them. It's more like their, their body temp, they feel soothed by it. I would recommend one of those too. I mean, it really helps for them to not like, you know, that agonizing cry in the middle of the night. Um, so he doesn't get overstimulated again. Uh, so yeah, these were my uh, go-tos for, uh, you know, mommies that are gonna have babies this year. Also get yourself a really good um, breastfeeding bra. You also want to make sure that you're not getting it, that um, you want to try them on. I would go up a size, like, I was wearing, I'm right now currently, um, the breastfeeding bras that I bought, I'm too big for them. And I don't know if it's because I'm gaining weight or, um, <laughs> great, or if my boobs are getting bigger, I don't know. But when I first had them, they were great and now they just don't, um, they don't uh, help me at all. I actually got mess. I was almost like I was preventing mastitis from happening because the bra was cutting me where my boob is. Like when you're the way, how do I put it? You don't want them like pushing in. You want something that's going to be like elastic free in a sense. Uh, right now I'm wearing a uh, Target bra, but like it doesn't it, it's like really really stretchy and loose it's not a breastfeeding bra so I would say go to the store if you can I know like buying them on Amazon that's just what I did um, it's like a hit or miss and then returning them all that so I would say like Target has some really good bras out right now TJ Maxx has really good bras right now um, and they're just sports bras or sleeping bras I honestly prefer those better than breastfeeding bras because they can, they're so stretchy and movable, they can be breastfeeding bras. I know that some are particular with like the clasps, and I have that one too, but I just, I like the way the looser fits um, feels versus having like a full cup, pulling it down, all the things, you know? So whatever suits you, I would definitely though try on stuff, just try on things. You might, you know, uh, weight out of it. You might lose weight. You don't know. So I would recommend going up a size or um, trying them out yourself. Okay, what else? Um, so we just did our tips and tricks, all the mommies to be in 2023. First of all, congratulations. If you want more videos on baby stuff, like by all means, totally will do it. This is just kind of the phase that I'm in in my life and I just want to kind of, you know, share and give whatever knowledge that I've learned throughout this time to you. I had a question on my Instagram, what is something that you didn't expect to happen and it did. Um, so for some of you that don't know, I had a C-section. My son was stuck at six centimeters. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up here um, or in the description or whatever but it's my birth story and um, we were supposed to have a home birth I currently am still kind of dealing with the body image that I am facing right now prior to me getting pregnant I had lost like 30 pounds didn't really have that body for long until I got pregnant so I had my baby in a way that I was not expecting I was pretty annoyed bothered irritated all the emotions that you don't want to have I had um, advocated for myself the entire time in the hospital. Uh, ladies, remember your voice is your voice, your birth is your birth, and you have birth rights. So if you have any questions on that, please do your own research. Um, if you want to reach out, more than happy to answer any questions. But um, everything that I wanted in my home birth, I wanted to make sure I got it um, at the hospital because I literally just needed to have the baby and like I wanted to leave. I'm not gonna get into that, <laughs> I digress. But yeah, I, I really believe that I didn't have time. You know, the first three months that you have a baby, like you're literally surviving. Uh, I was looking at some of his clothes, I was changing out his clothes, and I was like, wow, I didn't even know he had this outfit. <laughs> so another tip I probably would say is that don't ask for any clothes past, like get them around three to six months or six months on because the baby literally lives in a onesie. 
you don't need a lot of clothes in the beginning. I learned a lot about grace and a lot about just being at peace with the transition and being in, like not in competition with anybody else around me. I am so exhausted. I am so tired. You don't get any sleep. Like sleep deprivation is freaking real, okay? It is so real and it sucks. It sucks. I took a lot of time to really accept the season, accept the timing, accept just a lot of things around me. We went through so much the first three months and even outside of, of the baby and hopefully one day I get to share that story. Um, but those that are close to me know what I went through and it was probably the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life. But it was, I mean, I am such a different person because of it. And, and I, I feel like I'm, I'm getting my attraction back. You know, now being a mom, you feel like you have to organize everything. You've, I mean, for me, that's me personally. I feel like I have to get on top of things now. I need to make sure that A, B, and C is done. And, you know, I still want to have a business and I still want to do this and I still want to do that. Um, and so it makes you time manage. It makes you have to say, okay, maybe I shouldn't stay up to 2 a.m. watching TV, you know, like, but then you're like, well, that's the only two hours that I get by myself when he goes to bed. So it's like, okay, then what do you need to do? You need to try to get him into a, a routine, try to get him into a sleep timing schedule where, you know, you're, you're soothing him early. That way he feels like, okay, now here's sleeping time, you know? So it, it is up to us as parents to do that. And I think that it's, it's difficult when you're your first time parent, you know, props to those who have it down. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> um, mentally, I was really, really piling through a lot. Then on top of that, about two and a half months in, I thought I missed the train on the hair loss thing, okay? Like, don't let this fool you, okay? We got this haircut for a reason. <laughs> um, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, my hair is still luscious. It's still here, woo. I got in the shower one time and I remember this. I got in the shower and I was brushing through. I have like a wide pit comb and I was brushing through my hair. And all of a sudden, it just starts coming out like, like globs. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, I, it's here. It's totally here. So on top of all the things I was going through, my hair is falling out. <laughs> so you, you, you don't, you don't realize how unready <laughs> you are to see all of that hair fall out. Okay, it's still falling out. Okay, so yeah, I'm currently accepting what's happening, and that was, you know, my transition into the fact, you know, you got to take care of yourself, and that's why. I took the time to get a new haircut. My hair was not it, okay? My hair was surviving. It was there. She was just staying alive. Now I feel alive. So um, this is a reshaping that I got from, her name is um, Panda. I'll leave her Instagram right here. And she is amazing. Uh, I told her I am four months postpartum. I literally, don't know what to do anymore with my hair when I had short hair you guys saw like she was cute you know I had like the short hair but I said I want to keep my length I want to keep growing so she didn't cut a lot of my length down I mean it's shrunk because it's curly but I said I don't want to lose length I just want lots of volume because let me show you under here we're still losing all the hair but I'm like you know what my hair naturally in the center flips down you know it waterfalls down so i was like let me just like i want to honor that you know like because then your hair will look better accepting like where i'm at physically has been really hard and i think like getting my hair cut actually helped me like refresh restart recharge i'm currently working on my postpartum workout journey has begun i've been working on my core engaging in my core doing core exercises diastasis recti exercises i don't have diastasis recti but i just don't feel like i'm engaged with my core um, my pelvic floor everything just kind of feels like it's just there all those hamburgers and french fries that everyone was like yeah live life eat whatever you want girl no it's still on me okay like we're still dealing with the french fries i ate when i was six months pregnant like she's still here <laughs> so um right now i mean i'm transparent i don't really care because i mean if you know me in real life like i'm honest about all this stuff 
Uh, so when I was in the hospital to give birth, I weighed at 156. Post birth, I think I went down 136, like when I weighed myself coming home. And now I'm sitting teeter totter at like 140. And the last time I was 140, I was miserable. I was dealing with some really, really hard, like mental, internal stuff, healing so many things and my weight totally reflected my lack of self-care so now that I'm like back at that weight I'm not there mentally of course like I'm not the same person but it's make it's, it's making sure that I'm doing it because I want to feel strong because now we're turning it into like a strength thing before I had went vegan I was like I need to lose weight you know, and I was doing cardio like four times a week. Granted, I was actually at a dance studio. I had the ability to do all that. And so my, my upkeep with that was kind of easy because I was doing all the things. But when it came to this time around, I don't have the same job. I'm currently taking care of a baby majority of the day. The, the times that I do, that I am able to do all that, is in the nighttime so it's like gauging a new lifestyle okay we're gonna have to do a new type of routine with this so right now i'm focusing on core engagement building my core again strengthening my core again and then um free weights uh resistant bands i'm more i'm probably gonna lean more towards home workouts hiking walking like i want to do things that i can do on a, like a daily basis versus um, like if I didn't have a car, what would I do, you know? Those are some things that are kind of like happening right now. Um, I currently haven't been able to look in my closet and get rid of clothes because, you know, that requires me to try on the clothes and then that reminds me that I'm not physically where I wanna be. So we are still in process of that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I can, um, I usually keep up with that a lot more, like little stuff that's happening here and there. So here's my Instagram if you wanna follow. And I think that's it. I just wanna encourage you that if something makes you feel like you again, this is the only thing that makes me feel girly. Aside from my hair, now that I have a haircut, uh, just do it, okay? Like, not, not like gaudy or self-absorbing, but like, the simplicity of feeling like a woman. Like I feel girly, I feel like a woman, I feel like a mom. My mom had nails when I was growing up, when I would see her with my brothers and stuff. And I always thought it was so, so pretty. And they're not all fancy and whatnot, they're just clear. I mean, not clear, they're like neutral. You know, my natural nails are under it. So like upkeeping with self-care, if it makes you happy, like do it, okay? Like it's not, it's not self-absorbing when you know that it's... I try to just make sure that I feel pretty about myself because it's not up to anybody else to do that, it's up to me. And I don't wanna like let myself go because then I'm not giving the time I need that I know I deserve, that way I can be better for everyone else around me. So I just leave you with that. Um, you're doing great if you are pregnant and you know super nervous and excited and all the things just leave down below like how it's been feeling for you. I did not like physically being pregnant. So if you are, tell me how and, and like where is the joy in that? Because you really do feel like you're renting your body out. It's so crazy how women do feel like, like that's their best life. And for me, I'm like, absolutely not. I just, I guess because it was just so heavy. Maybe my body wasn't ready. I don't know, maybe round two, I'll feel different. Hopefully my body will be ready to go. Like. That's kind of where I want it to be. I want to have a good pelvic floor. I want to have a good center. I want to like really feel like, okay, I can carry another child. So let me know what your favorite part of today's video was. You know, I like these sit downs only because it's me. I'm not feeling like I have to entertain you. But I mean like, I'll help you laugh every once in a while, you know? But yeah, so yeah, let me know if you like the hair. I really, really do love this. This is a new cut for me. I've never had this style before. Um, yeah, I love the way it's sitting on my head and like, it's so huge. And then like, if you put your fingers through it and just like fluff the inside, look at her. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Okay. All right. That's it for me, you guys. Um, I'm going to start editing this video because my
my son's about to wake up for, from his nap. So we're going to try to get this uploaded um, quickly. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.